Hi guys, today we're gonna have pretty interesting video. We're gonna talk about why some people believe music is not an art anymore. I'm gonna show you some modern tools which some people consider like cheating. And uh, then we're gonna negotiate why something can be considered as an art or not an art. And then uh, I will tell you my own opinion in the end. So my name is Andrew Zeleno, I'm a professional audio engineer with more than 10 years of experience in professional field. Last six years I'm a teacher for mixing course online in Skype. And students who graduated from this course believe this course has advantages over other courses because of unique teaching approach. We have full top theory, all techniques, all philosophy, also pretty a lot of different unique stuff. Most important is homework checking. Just imagine, we grab any projects you want, I can provide project or you choose any project in any genre, and in real time I show you how to bring these mixes to the top level. We compare your mixes with top sounding mixes of all time made by the best audio engineers of all time, and we don't stop until you get the same results. It's all about results in this course. So you see the real process. You see some reviews of my students. I highlighted with yellow color the most important statements. You can save some time reading only yellow marked phrases. It's better to see than to hear about it, right? So I offer one trial class with current students, you can see exactly how this course works. Price for this course is really good, for the same amount of money you can buy just regular average pair of monitors, really average microphone or 3-4 plugins, but it doesn't guarantee anything. My course guarantees results. And you pay monthly, so there is no risk. So in front of me, as you can see, is Native Instruments machine. Pretty modern device to write music. Some people say back in the days when people used instruments to write music, they had to record music from the beginning to the end. Uh, you really should have skills in your hands, in your mind. You should put feel in your recording, in your performance. And you didn't use works of other guys. Obviously, some people could cheat, some people could occupy some leaks phrases. But it's considered like cheating. So among people who believe music is not an art anymore, there are a couple of things the most considered like cheating in music production. For example, first of all, loops. You download some already recorded parts, prepared parts, you just put it in your own project, you put a couple of drum hits, and you consider it as your own music. Maybe it's fine, maybe it's not, it's only up to you. By the way, tell me in the comment section what do you think about loops, if it's fine to use it or not. My personal opinion, I don't mind if people use it, but for myself, I prefer not to use loops. I just write everything on my own, every note, every chord. But it's my own choice, you know, it's up to you. But tell me in the comment section what do you think about that, I'm interested. But for example, if you don't use loops, you write your own music, for example... So you just go to browser. I pretty never start music with drum beat. Uh, because I need the most important for me is harmony and melody. So I will find some synthesizer. I go to Massive. Let's say piano slash keys. So we're gonna try to find some. So we search through different presets. Okay, for example, we found some piano. Uh, over here you have a mode called keyboard. On MIDI keyboard is much more understandable because a lot of people play keys, C minor scale. You can exclude all incorrect notes and it will be C minor notes, natural minor only. Now it's minor scale, so I can play now. Just hitting random notes. As you can see, so some people believe it's just modern tools, right? Some people say it's already cheating because you at least need to know some music theory. You can go even further. You can go to chord modes. If you play in C minor, you need to know which three notes you should hit in every chord. If you decided to play, for example, E flat chord, you need to play E flat major. So you need to know why it's major or why it's minor and you need to figure out where you put your fingers on the MIDI keyboard, right? Uh, in this case, you don't need to know it. So you basically, you go to chords. This is E flat I mentioned before, and it will be E major. Right? I play F, this system knows, in minor, in minor scale, it should be F minor. 
so system decides on what the right chord is when you don't know anything at all you just again So you let's say play it like this let's say you absolutely don't feel rhythm you don't feel where exactly to play those notes right so you record this pattern so let's try to record it right and then when you play it it's absolutely not in time. I specifically try to not to be like precise and rhythm definitely made a lot of mistakes. What I do, I just press shift and quantize and all my notes were shifted exactly to the proper position. And now it sounds like I perfectly in time. Again, some people believe it's kind of cheating because people who play instruments, uh, they spend a lot of time to really craft their rhythm feel, to hit proper notes. Or here you can be just absolutely out of tempo, out of notes, you have no idea what to press, but somehow you make music. But other people believe it's a modern tool, it allows you to get fast ideas, uh, you can go further, you can be more creative, right? Uh, so, who knows? Tell me in the comment section what do you think about this. So, do you think it's like uh, a bit like cheating or you believe maybe it's modern tools let's record quickly some drums for it so i choose group b i go to browser i choose okay for the first time it's something but honestly not too good but anyway now we can turn the metronome also some people believe uh, auto tune is kind of cheating right all these vocals when people say one two one two three four five all these kind of effects as you hear in every song right now on the radio it sounds like this machine corrects your notes it still doesn't make you great vocalist you know you still should know how to take a note how you should go out from the note you should have natural vibrato to sound great so tuners can only fix a couple of things like pitching a bit of form and things and also can correct a bit of your vibrato but it will never sound as natural as it can be in professional vocal it's a project sounds like this <laughs> I played it on the Mickey MIDI keyboard. Secondly, this melody you hear, this one. I wrote it with my vocal, so I just listened to the chord and I seen in like. Something like that. So I seen in a long chord and then I translated in in music no machine does anything for you you just sing in a, a long course and you create music in this way so it's my own approach so let's say in this case uh, you can use something like arpeggiator what is arpeggiator let's say this is what machine can do on its own right this synthesizer is called hive and it has this arpeggiator built in it decides on each note uh, counting in semitones over here in the center section of this and as you can see Basically, I had, actually, over here, only this pattern. So, in this case, some people can consider it like cheating, because machine played all these notes on its own, right? Actually, in reality, it sounded like this. I'm gonna play those notes for you, how it exactly sounds on its own. <laughs> But instead of this, machine does next. Plus it has some glide effect in it when note slides to the other note. So basically, some people can consider it as a cheating. Tell me in the comment section what do you think about this. If you believe it's like cheating when you use arpeggiators, quantizer, chord uh, generator, 
uh, auto-tune or you believe it's totally fine and it's like modern tools. Okay, I'm gonna tell you my own opinion. As you can see, machine actually can do a lot of things for you. I believe nobody forces you to use all these tools, right? As you can see, I still use my own musical approach. I just play random chords. I sing along, I create melodies with my voice. I'm not a big fan of auto-tune. Only you can decide uh, what works for you. But, but I'm still really curious, what do you think about it? During this winter and spring, we're gonna have videos on mixing, mastering. I'm gonna try to do it every week this time. The best things I keep for my students on the course. But as you can see, we try to share some interesting videos. But to be totally honest, it's more like entertaining videos comparing to those serious topics we cover on the course. To support this channel, don't forget to put a like and any comment. Uh, subscribe and hit bell notification, otherwise subscription will not be working. And don't miss the opportunity to attend one free trial class with my current students to check my course.